You are about to see the capture and active control of the lamp segmented primary mirror. The monitor displays the far field spot and its intensity profile. It shows separate spots, one from each of the seven segments. The mirror is in the caged position and is closely aligned to the wavefront sensor. The command is issued to uncage the mirror and put it in the standby mode. As the caging pins retract, the seven spots move randomly. The display is quite sensitive, so the spots appear to move wildly. However, the actual motion is small. The uncaging process takes about 60 seconds. The mirror is now in the standby mode, and the spots are off the display, and there is no intensity profile. Next, the center segment will be commanded to the position it was in when the mirror was caved, and the wavefront sensor will be aligned to that position. The center segment is now commanded to return to its standby position. Subsequently, the seven segments will begin to move toward the capture position simultaneously using pre-stored commands applied in a series of automatic steps. You can now see the spots in the display moving toward the capture position. The center segment is the master. The other segments are referenced too. The spots are now close enough so that capture is possible. Small motions of the spots indicate final alignment of the wavefront sensor to the mirrors. Notice the spot intensity profile is broad, but the peak is low. The figure actuator control loops will now be closed around their respective position sensors. You will see the spot snap into a tighter circle when segment control occurs. The intensity profile also shows some improvement. The final step is to use the wavefront sensor to control the figure actuators. You can observe this when the combined spots snap into an even, even tighter spot. Which is now. The intensity profile is now sharper and has a greater peak. Lamp is now in the ready condition with figure and segment control using the wavefront sensor.